Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the weekly love, like a little weekly love forecast for the Scorpio, okay? So this is gonna be starting today and ending May the 18th, 2016 for the Scorpios. It's gonna be a basic five card spread, okay? What's going on currently? Okay, we're going to look at the past a little bit and then also the future and how you should proceed in the future. Okay, so there's a future card, but then there's also an advice card that you need to look at. All right, this reading may not resonate with all of you Scorpios. I do recommend a personal and in-depth reading. Okay. All right, I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more. Seems like things are really stable for you, the way the cards are shuffling now. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Currently, Scorpios, you got the Nine of Pentacles. What a nice card. It's such a nice card to get the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is all about you know, financial success. So currently you've got a lot of financial successes, Scorpio. This is about abundance, wealth. It's not just about having money. This is about attaining wealth and the stability of wealth. So in the context of a relationship, it's the same thing. You know, you have obtained a very abundantly loving relationship, committed, okay? So currently your relationship has really rised up to new heights of intimacy and joy. Now, if you're single or unattached and looking, this card tells you that someone new who has what it takes to be a new, meaningful, deep love could be headed your way very soon, okay? And the world needs couples because couples inspire other people to love. I mean, it's very inspiring seeing a happy couple. It makes you want the same thing. It makes you have hope in life. Now, in the past, this person is coming up very strongly. The Queen of Wands came up. So again, this is a this is someone in your life, Scorpio, that was very closely related to your identity. Okay? So you saw yourself in this person with it being the Wands, whether or not it's a male or a female. What's crossing you in the past is another literal person, the Knight of Pentacles. So I get the sense that um, there was some sort of messenger. It's typically what the Knight of Pentacles is about. Um, in the context of love, this is about responsibility and duty in a love relationship. And this is about you and your lover, whoever you're attached to, your willingness to work together and get through any rough stops, rough spots and to work on the relationship. So this is a really good card to get the Knight of Pentacles in a love reading. This is a very positive card. In fact, it points to messages, uh, receiving good news. So you received some really good news in the past, probably the recent past. looking at the date of the Knight of Pentacles. I'm seeing this date back to August of last year. So this is something that's been long term. The Knight of Pentacles is very faithful and honorable. So that's a really good card to be crossing the Queen of Wands. Now in the future, Scorpio, you got the death card. Amazing. So there's a transformation. Now, depending on this fifth card, what kind of transformation is it going to be? You got the lovers. So that's amazing, okay? Now, there's a couple of things that I want to tell you about this. The lovers card, um, the, I'm sorry, the death card and the lovers card have almost the same meaning, but they jive well with each other. And I'm going to tell you why. The death card is the end of something and the beginning of something else. So there was a really traumatic dramatic period, painful period in your relationship, but then there was a new beginning. 
Okay, so you destructed whatever that was that you were dealing with, and then you got the lovers. So the lovers obviously means that you're in love. That's what that means. It means that you have a very, um, very strong attachment. This is a union, a relationship, a marriage, but the lovers can also mean a conflicting choice. However, judging by the other cards, you know, I feel as though some of you, I mean, everybody, I don't, I don't know one person that doesn't have something from the past that they need to deal with. Um, but the death card, in, in my opinion, just means transformation. Now, the lovers card, um, if we look at the key dates and timing, um, the Gemini actually represents the lovers. Um, so there's going to be some stuff that's going to be coming up May the 21st to June. A lot of major stuff in your, you and your, between you and your lover. Um, it's about, re, you know, relationships, love, love and togetherness, but also it's about conflicting choices. It's about taking the, it's, a, it's about choosing the path. Okay, it's about the good and the bad choices that we make. And I do see you making a good choice. You know, um, the lover's card comes up to let you know, yeah, this is a lover, your lovers, but is this the best choice for you? And judging by the outer land cards, I'm seeing this as being a good choice. And I'm seeing some stuff happening um, around the full moon. So during the moon cycle from May the 22nd until June, there's going to be some major stuff happening between you and that person, Scorpio. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Again, if you want a more personalized reading, um, you can uh, check out my website. I do offer same-day readings and within-the-hour readings. Um, and also make sure that you subscribe to my channel and that you also thumbs up this video and leave a comment. Also, I do have a 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, it's kind of like a subscriber client giveaway. Um, so just go to that video and check out the details. And if you want to enter, um, go ahead and enter the contest. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your week, Scorpio. Bye.